Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Nest.js. Today we are going to learn how to integrate Swagger into our Nest project. So let's get started. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So see, first of all, we have to install this package that is npm install Swagger. So install this module first. After the installation of the module, we have to add this line to our main.ts file. So just copy this and add this into our uh, main.ts file. So where we go? So it's installing. Okay. So let me open this file code. Okay. So we have to go with the main.ts file. So here we have the main.ts where it is main.ts so here i will add this module part okay and here i can add it over here okay so this is so it requires a document builder so we have to add this line also import swagger module and the document builder so just add it over here and here we have the set the titles that here this is example from this so this is rest rest api authentication title over here rest api authentication login register okay and add tags over here if you want to add the tags or you can add the any of the tags like users or something okay so just set it and just restart the server npm start and here we go so it's localhost 3000 just copy this link and go to this one right and just add it over here and here you need to add this api and here you can see that we have all the listing of the users registered to do's and all the schemas and everything okay so you here you can just post any of the users can register over here so here it requires the parameter try it out so here you need to put the json that we have to add so i will show you like uh, in the previous that is in the port 3000 okay so just need to add i think the email and the username over here okay if i go and just try it out what happened here you can see that error bad request property name email passwords user id must be a string user password so these are the things that we have to add out over here so I will show you here. So it should be the user ID Ramesh 90. I'm adding, adding over here. And the next one that is the, we require the property user password and the username. So here we have to go with the user password, right? And the last one that is user name. Okay, so I'm copying this and just adding over here user name okay then send it execute and here you can see that ramesh 90 and this user is created right so this is how we are able to integrate the swagger in the nest.js very easy very simple any doubt any query in that let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day